I wanted to start off the conversation by talking about this beautiful piece of art that's been behind us all day long. Um, this was a mural that was created in 2017 by artists Rick Williams from Detroit and B. Mike from New Orleans. They collaborated here in Detroit for our annual mural festival, Murals in the Market, that happens in Eastern Market. They found a young boy from Detroit. His name was, well, actually, I don't know his name, but his mother's name, yep, his name is Evan. His mother's name is Shahrazad Love, and she's an amazing spoken word poet here in Detroit. And so the collaboration really made something so special and beautiful. Um, I think at this moment, it may be our most popular, most photographed piece of art that we've done in the market. But the thing is about this one piece of art that I think is so special is it makes you feel something, right? When you read it and you see it, it makes you feel something special. You feel inspired, you feel hopeful, you feel like that there is some kind of way to get out of a situation or an, or an experience that is, um, might bog you down or take you down. And that's kind of the magic of public art. Um, public art is a place where things, walls and museums and galleries, they, they, the, the walls get broken down and barriers are taken down and people can have their own democratic kind of gallery that they can expose themselves to and they can kind of go and see the art in the, um, and the, um, the <laughs> they can see kind of like art in, in a different atmosphere than what's been traditionally put in front of us. Um, the murals in Eastern Market and all around Detroit have become a, a backdrop for graduation photos, for wedding photos, for senior pictures. They, they become and they start belonging to the community and start leaving kind of our ownership and start, starts to belong to everyone else. Um, Detroit has such a rich history in public art. You know, we have the spirit of Detroit. We have the murals, the legacy murals that were in Eastern Market, the vegetable and the hilo, things that you've seen your entire childhood um, and growing up by spending all your time there. Um, and of course, the, the most, one of the most magical murals that have ever been created in the world, which is the Diego Rivera mural in the DIA, which has been countless, been inspired to countless artists all over Detroit and the world. So public art is, is special. It, it creates moments for people, but in Detroit specifically, we have a long history with it. It's not something that just showed up yesterday. And pieces like this where we have two artists of color, African-American artists specifically, come together and really kind of do something that speaks to a, that their community here in Detroit. And I want to say that that doesn't come on accident. Um, we are very, very, I'm going to use a word, I'm going to use it a lot, or a couple of words, um, intentionally inclusive. Um, it's something that we believe in, something that I believe in, and something that I feel that people have to think about as they curate, hire, um, as they think about the, the, the groups and organizations that they're putting together. When we curate this festival, we take a look at everybody that we have, and we say, how many women do we have? How many artists of color do we have? How many women of color do we have, right? And so those are things that, you know, you hear in so many conversations where people are like, I only really hire, or I only select the most talented. I only really, um, I only pick the ones that are within my own personal community. Well, you know what, that's not what's gonna make great work. Not great work for myself, but great work from the collective that's there. And so when you sit and you think and you put these people together and we look and we're like, okay, well, we've got, we need 50 artists and right now at the table we've got 40 white men. Well, you know what, that's not gonna really inspire Detroit, which is 90% African American. And that's not really going to change people's perception of I can do this and I can be bigger and I can be better. And so what we did was, is we're like, okay, yes, there's a lot of white men that are very talented in Detroit and we love them and we support them. But let's get out of our comfort zone and let's find some women. Well, they're like, well, women don't paint murals. There's only a handful of them. It's not a thing that they do. Well, you know what? We went and we, t we spoke to women. We're like, oh, you paint a painting that's the size of a wall. You can do this. And so we inspired this other generation of artists to come out and paint that have never done that before. And what happened was is 
these students and people and young people from the city would come and watch these artists paint. And they would be so inspired. And they would say, like, I've, I can do this. Or I've never even looked at this wall before, but now that I see you doing it, it feels so personal to me. And I feel that I can accomplish something like that. And I think that people take things like that for granted in different environments that they work in. When you sit down, I'm sure there's people here that have companies or hire or, or are curators or putting different things together with different groups of people. You have to sit and you have to look at your list. And you have to say, am I just picking this person because it's easy and comfortable and it's the most qualified? Well, the most qualified to us sometimes is not the right answer. The most qualified sometimes is somebody that can bring you a cultural interpretation of something that you don't know yourself. We found that in our environments that when we bring these different kinds of people in the same room, different ideas are sparked and different kinds of um, techniques and expressions are shared and they start, then you start breaking barriers and you start having different conversations. And what we've noticed from the public art that we've created in Eastern Market, well, we didn't create it, the artists have, but we've curated it, is that it's such a, it's such a variation of so many different people and so many different things. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to ask everyone that leaves here today that the next time you try to make a new friend, the next time you want to hire that new person, the next time you're really looking at something in a big picture, you have to ask yourself, Am I, am I looking outside of my box? Am I asking somebody to do something that's different? Am I thinking about what my community needs from me? It's not just what's great for my company or my organization or what's going on there, but it's really what's great for everything that's around me. And you're gonna see that you're gonna be able to inspire so many people around you by being so inclusive and having people participate in, in what you're doing and where you're going. So I'm gonna ask people to please be intentionally inclusive. You have to do it on purpose. You can't do it by accident. And if you wanna do something on purpose, you have to kind of go outside of your box and kind of really look at who's there and what they're doing. Um, public art is amazing. We appreciate all the support. We just finished our festival, so I'm still a little high on, on what we just accomplished the past 10 days. We ask everybody to go down to Eastern Market and see everything and all of the big murals and go take your wedding photos and go take your graduation photos and come celebrate art with us down there. Thank you.